As far as the character has been written so far, um, he's a, a very good, virtuous guy. Um, I don't know what is in the future for him, um, but um, yeah, he's a noble guy. I mean, he does things, you know, as you say, stealing from the rich to give to the poor. Uh, might be bending the rules a little bit, but for good reason. I, I feel that he's always on the right side of ethics and, and, and morality, you know, so everything he does is a, an end justifies the means. Okay. We're talking about just embodying Robin Hood because I know the show sometimes takes its own unique twist on a character in that. Can you talk about who this guy is and how you're approaching playing him? Um, it's, it's, it's an odd thing because I, I, I've never played anything quite as iconic as, as Robin Hood and uh, also the fact that there was another actor, uh, Tom, who, who played the role briefly in the show before I did. So I, I just sort of a, thought to myself the best thing to do really is just do my own take on it and my own take was just, just see him as a guy, not as an icon, um, see him as a father and as a, as a, as a leader. Um, rather than this kind of epic character, because if you start doing that, then they they stop becoming human, and the whole point is to kind of bring these guys to life. So um, I just I just took the words off the page and uh, tried to to bring it to life as best I could. Look, I mean, apart from Lana being a a very beautiful woman, um, the the character of Regina is obviously also beautiful, but um, she's strong and she's independent and she's powerful and um, I, I think that that's an attractive quality in people. I think, you know, power can be an aphrodisiac and, and I think he sees her, you know, in, he doesn't know, I mean obviously Robin Hood is aware of the evil queen because he was on the run from her, but you know, sometimes I think uh, opposites attract and um, I think it's just a raw, passionate, fiery thing where just I think the moment Robin meets Regina, he's kind of like, oh, hello, you know, and, uh, and, and really that's kind of how I'm playing it, just that there's just a raw physical attraction and they're growing to get to know each other. So I, I'm as intrigued as anybody else to see how it um, progresses. Oh, when he gets back to Storybook, he has no idea who these people are. He's never met them in his life. According to him, he's lived in, he's lived, went to school, I had a normal life in New York. Okay, and then of course Hook's going to show up and ruin yes. everything. Well, <laughs> is, is Henry aware of Hook at this point? Like, no. Has he even met the guy? I think he's met them. He 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 just has no idea who he is. Some weird guy wearing a full leather suit and has a glove on one hand and doesn't move it. <laughs> so. um, when you heard that these episodes were going to be a little more Wizard of Oz centric with the flying monkeys, and yeah, things yeah. Like that, how did you feel about it? I'm sure you've seen the movie. I actually have not seen The Wizard of Oz. I, I've only seen up to the part with the munchkins. Okay. Don't know why, I just have never gotten through the entire movie. But I was actually pretty excited to see what they were going to do with Oz.